friends like Robert Shaw is having a wonderful time tonight on his 75th birthday, and I know I am. You know, Kelly, it's amazing how young and easygoing and full life he still is. I know it. Right now, I'd like to introduce a friend of mine, a friend of yours, and a friend of the blues, Mr. Steve Dean. Hello, everyone. Who were some of his influences? Well, back then, uh, you know, the, mu the piano tradition goes way back, even uh, a little bit before the Houston era, probably back to New Orleans, but uh, there was this man, Peg Leg Will, that... Uh, played in the Houston area that was originally from New Orleans, and uh, um, he was a uh, uh, contemporary of Jelly Roll Morton's and had moved into the Houston area, and he was the one that most people picked up on his uh, style, which later became known as the Fast Western style, or they became known as the Santa Fe Group, which the Santa Fe Group means about the, uh, the trains, the Santa Fe trains. They would travel the trains to other cities playing in uh, juke joints, barrel houses, chalk houses, just uh, out in the country, you know, just yeah. wherever anybody could uh, make some illegal liquor and uh, get together and throw a big party. And they'd sell it to help pay the rent or anything else they needed to do. Mm -hmm. And so he started listening to all these people like, uh, oh, uh, Peg Leg Will, and uh, there was Shine Holiday, and uh, quite a few others there in the Houston area. And so mm -hmm. he... Uh, started listening to all these people and uh, pretty soon became uh, one of the foremost piano players in that area and before he knew it he was hopping the trains going to other areas and in the, and in the early 30s he uh, made his way as far as Kansas City to play and play Did you ever go down on the mobile and the KC line Ever go down on the mobile and kiss the line? Just want to ask you, did you see that girl of mine? She ain't good looking. She don't dress too fine. When she starts a loving, she always takes her time. Someday I'm gonna get lucky, baby. Things is gonna be coming my way. Someday I'm gonna get lucky, baby. Things is gonna be coming. 
coming my way. I'm going to have money in my pocket. And I'm going to change clothes every day. here in about 1936 and he moved here and his first uh, job if you can call it that was uh, what they call the Lucky Lou policy wheel and what that is is just kind of a little numbers game where you collect a nickel dime quarter from everybody and if the numbers turn out just right you know they win a big pot of money <laughs> and he got in a little scrape with the law from what I understand he decided he better go legal and start doing some things so he decided to open up a food market and before you know it, know it he had his own uh, barbecue business in his food market. Things were going real well. I think at one time he had as many as five stores here in the Austin area. And of course, people came by for his legendary barbecue, but they also came by to hear him play piano in his own store. He played for uh, the likes of even Lyndon Baines Johnson would go over there quite a bit in the 50s. And 